Hey everyone, my name is Brandy with Brandy Tronconi Photography and welcome to my channel. If you have not already done so, please go ahead down and click on that red subscribe button, hit on that notification bell, and go ahead and click on that thumbs up to like this video. Thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I am so very thankful and grateful and happy that you have joined me today at Lums Pond State Park here in Delaware. This is a great little park. I'm saying little, but it's not that little. It has some great activities. It has some pavilions for some get-togethers. You do have to make a reservation for those pavilions. It has a, it's called Go Ape in the Trees, and it is, Go Ape in the Trees is across the country from what I heard. It is a rope obstacle course that is up in the air and it does have some zip lines that goes right up, right above Lum's Pond. But again, I am so very, very happy and grateful that you've decided to join me. I hope that you stick with me and I will see you in the video. So that's all part of Go Ape in the Trees. There's actually somebody on it now. And again, it's a rope obstacle course. And it's really great exercise. They do have a lot of safety. You are strapped to a harness, strapped in with a harness. You, um, and at each station platform, you actually have to switch it so even if you slip, you at least can not go anywhere because you'll pretty much you'll hang safely, but you'll hang. So you'll be suspended in air so you can at least get your grip.
So these are all the paddle boats. They do have canoes. Um, looks like they have single and multiple. They have life vests. And I've actually noticed the staff coming in. And just in case anybody's worried because of COVID, um, they're taking the precautions of every life vest that comes back gets basically sprayed with sanitizer. Um, I'm actually watching them clean off each life vest, spray it with a sanitizer, all of the poles for and the paddles for the canoes and um, they get washed down. Right now, even the goat ape in the trees, it's best to actually go online and reserve a spot because it is a very, very popular activity here at this park. Um, and right now, they're not having as many people go through that obstacle course, so this way they have time to um, at least with the zip lines, they have time to clean all of that stuff off because the zip lines, again, you're um, hooked in with a heart, you have a harness on, you actually have another type of cord, and I've actually witnessed people go on it, and you know, that helps to keep them from falling just in case they slip and they miss a step. So, all of that does get washed down and sanitized after each person so and just so you know i'm actually filming that young man who is actually work he is one of the staff here at the park and what you're seeing him spray that is actually sanitizer so he is going on each and every um paddle boat there and he is sanitizing every seat every spot that a person sits on stands on to make sure that it is completely sanitized for the next people next group so Okay, unfortunately, this part of the trail is closed. Um, a few weeks back, we did have some very bad windstorms, and there was some wind damage and storm damage, so um, this part of the trail has actually been closed off. So, because that's actually another part of this trail that goes right along this water here. Um, but that's okay. There are quite a few people out on the boats, both in the canoes, the paddle boats, and they're even ha they do have some rowboats. So it's 
from what I'm gathering and from what I'm seeing, there are a lot of people out taking advantage of the parks while the parks are open. Be and this time, you know, it's such a beautiful time out, and we have all these wonderful outdoor activities. Because again, we're still in the midst of COVID, so everybody's trying to get it all in. So I realized one big mistake that I made today. I am in Lums Pond. There is a lot of water, some standing water, some slowly moving water. And the one thing that I forgot to do, normally when I come to any place where I have a feeling that, or not have a feeling that there are going to be some where water is around, especially in places like this, I use my eucalyptus oil to keep some of those wonderful creatures from feasting. I forgot to do that today. So, Excuse me, I just tripped over a fallen branch. So what I forgot to do was put on the eucalyptus oil, which means some of the bug life has been having a feast. <sighs> Always remember to make sure that you are not a buffet for some of the bug lives in one, two. 
there were two mosquitoes right on my camera just now so make sure that you put something on when you're going out in places like this if you come to lums pond make sure you put some type of bug repellent i do the natural stuff because a lot of the chemical stuff actually makes my skin react very badly so i use eucalyptus oil which generally helps but i did not do that today yeah So I'm sitting at one of the picnic tables. And there are picnic tables throughout, so. So I am back home from Lums Pond State Park. That is such a beautiful park and there is so much to do there with the go ape in the trees and the canoeing and the paddle boats, the row boats, the walking of the trails. In some of the trails they allow for horses and biking. So it is really, really a nice area. They do have the pavilions and some picnic tables. They even have some athletic fields. I know some um, games like soccer game matches were happening a couple weeks back. So yeah, I don't know if it, it wasn't professional, but I do know there was a soccer whatever going on. So it was a very, very nice time that I had today. And Again, I'm so glad that you have joined me. Now, if you have not already done so, please go ahead down and click on that red subscribe button. Hit on that notification bell to be notified of every new video as they come out. And please go ahead and click on that thumbs up to like this video. Thank you again so much for your support. I greatly, greatly appreciate each like, each subscriber. You, it's an amazing thing. You help support me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, as I get ready to close, I just want to say to you, I hope, I hope that you have a tremendous day. Get out there and start living, doing some things seeing the beauty that's out there in your own area. And you know what? Go ahead and leave in the comments some things that you like to do. And even if it's not in my area, maybe one day I'll travel there. Who knows? But also, too, there are people in your area that just might like to see those sites, too. So I hope you all have a great, wonderful, joyful, loving, 
beautiful, gorgeous, tremendous day. I love you. 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 And I'll see you next time.